it, it was a few years that we were just kind of selling merch or something and it, you know it was cool but you know with ambient there's another thing going on so i think for the longest time ambient was just like focused on getting what needed to get done done we were always like playing catch up we never had like enough time to actually like think about making things different it was a lot of thinking about the present thinking about the exact moment and less on what the company was going to become or what we were going to become. I mean, we were all in our early 20s and you could tell we were in our early 20s. It felt like we were still trying to find ourselves and in the mix trying to find out what Ambient was. Going to the shop every day and just seeing like the scale of where Ambient is gone and like just all the t-shirts flying off the press, it really like made me question our intentions behind that and like the impact that the growth and everything was having. Clothing has a way bigger impact than just like what the fan is taking in personally through that experience. With the Bon Iver I, I merch line, we were able to expand on a lot of different things. This line is sort of like set the standard for what I would consider like a, a very well thought out, very socially conscious, environmentally conscious line. So that was choosing items that either fall into the category of organic, USA made, sustainable, using recycled polyester from, from plastic bottles, recycled cotton that's usually discarded as, as waste. Actually looking at like you know, was this garment worker paid above industry standards? And then you go to a place like Haiti and you see like how much actual work goes into making one t-shirt. And there's companies out there that can charge like a like a dollar seventy-five for a blank t-shirt and it's like kind of mind blowing that that all that work goes into it and there's just like hardly anything left for the people that actually make it. Like here's the actual impact. Like we are literally taking six water bottles out of the landfill every time we sell an all made tea. Now times that by an entire like tour merch line for Bon Iver, and it's pretty staggering like what impact this whole thing actually makes. Just off of like one really small change. We partnered with a company called Looptworks, which is based in Portland and they take in fabric scraps, old apparel, and they strip down the raw materials. To be able to upcycle these old garments, garments that weren't gonna sell anymore, into new items that are now being sold and repurposed and creating not only a new experience for the fam, but also jobs for people and keeping waste out of landfills. There's a small business aspect of what's going on here, and yes, you want to, you need to sell merch to put gas in the trucks and the, all that stuff. But there's just, it, it's not all about the numbers, is it? It can't be. And if you're going to be selling T-shirts, a band selling T-shirts, if you want to like distill it down to that small of a an idea or a definition, you shouldn't be selling shirts that come from not this place. You know what I mean? These places of uh, you know the sustainable thing. We want to be able to spark some sort of question in the fans' mind, like being able to remember the next time maybe they go to a different show and they're like kind of on the lookout for a sustainable garment and a garment that like uplifted the, the, the workers and the makers that actually like put their heart and soul into making that. And just hopefully it influences other things in their life like on a very even like a very small scale ambient has picked up our band and shown us through their own works how to be being from the same town and and it's just all really feels collected in that way and with with the merch line it's like duh i i need to always kind of check myself when I started thinking about this stuff because like I realized that we're in a super fortunate position to have a band like Bon Iver that actually is just like, yeah, like go do your thing. Like we'll figure out how to 
communicate this to fans. Like, we'll raise our prices a little bit because it's worth it. There's the microcosm of Ambient and the microcosm of Bon Iver, but we need each other. Everybody in, in both organizations needs each other and we're, we're leaning on each other and we're growing and making our local community and like any community we can encounter and interact with on the road stronger, I think, because of that willingness to help each other out and pick each other up uh, in the places we can. The base of what we're trying to accomplish here is to start building a sense of community, a sense of like-minded bands and people and industry professionals who can work together to enact change. And that goes beyond just merchandise, but I think it's one of the main focuses that we're taking right now. It's like we just have to act. We have to act like now with all this stuff. It's very important. And so worrying or being or considering global impact is is a it's a nice idea, but I think I think people get caught up in that. It's like, well, how do I make the biggest difference? Hmm. And you go sit on a mountain for a while, meanwhile the planet is burning. So I think it's just time and you have to look at what you got around you, look what you can do and do as much as you can while you're celebrating and enjoying your 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 life. <laughs>